Kia ora from New Zealand everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I'm filming this the first week of January, so if you celebrate, Happy New Year 2024. December is quite the month for me that I can accumulate new jigsaw puzzles because I celebrate Christmas and I have my birthday in December as well. So these are all the presents that I've received as jigsaw puzzles from December and I thought you might be interested in seeing it in a puzzle haul. The first three puzzles are already actually assembled and sitting here on the table because I didn't think I was going to make full-length videos out of these jigsaw puzzles. The first one is a gallison and the last gallison or I should say the last and only gallison I've ever done was Flora Hart from the last Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers. I enjoyed this one so much more. 500 pieces. It's called Prospect Road. Really enjoyed the box. It looks like a book and it opens up like this and it has a little poster inside of the jigsaw puzzle. The image is small, but I didn't find it too difficult to work with, maybe because of the design of the image itself. What I really enjoyed is that it has like a shiny gold foil kind of outlining the detail of the jigsaw puzzle but the rest of the pieces have a slight shine to them, but not too much. Overall, it was fun. It was something different because I've not done a jigsaw puzzle with the, like a gold foil to it. It was really cute. I actually really enjoyed it. And I'm thinking of maybe taping it and putting it up somewhere in the house. The next jigsaw puzzle that I assembled already is this one sitting over here on the table. It's from Hinkler and it's from their Elevate series or their travel series. This one's called Santorini. By the way, I couldn't find an artist for this one or this one, so I'm not sure who designed them. But I will admit, this is an interesting jigsaw puzzle. It was about $10 New Zealand, so very, very inexpensive. One thing I noticed is that the colors don't exactly match up the image on the box, which is fine. That really doesn't bother me too much. Um, it's 500 pieces. There's a good variety of piece cuts, but the prongs are very similar. So in the areas like on the border and then the blue, the gray, I had to be careful, you know, trying the pieces because sometimes it felt like other pieces could fit, like false fits, but really took my time. There's not many of those pieces and it all came together nicely. Now, if it was a very expensive jigsaw puzzle or a much larger jigsaw puzzle, I might be upset that there's not a good variety of prong shapes because it was just about $10 New Zealand. It's affordable, I'll forgive it. Especially since if you open the box, the jigsaw puzzle came in a reusable bag. Now, if they can do this for 10 New Zealand dollars, I would like to see more brands using reusable black bags. This is perfect, so nice. So I was very pleased with this puzzle. I just did it one evening just for fun. This one I will break up and try to resell. But yeah, just a fun little jigsaw puzzle. The last jigsaw puzzle that I already assembled is over here on the table by Phlox. Phlox is the name of the artist, or at least the name that they go by. And they have art design studio up in Auckland, I believe. And then they get products manufactured from their designs. I'd already previously done a video about the thousand piece Phlox jigsaw puzzle that I had. This is their 500 piece and it's called Orchid and Magnolia. Now the packaging is amazing. You have this little draw drawer that opens up and the jigsaw puzzle comes in a cloth draw bag. Very nice. These puzzles are a bit more expensive. Do I need the cloth draw bag? Probably not. I'd rather save a few dollars on the price of the jigsaw puzzle. The only thing that I did notice with this one, it felt like the pieces weren't as snug as the thousand piece cut. That was the only thing, but love the colors, love the image. I think I will tape this one and put it up on the, a wall in the house because I have the thousand piece version already up. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you wanna watch it by the way. But I really, really enjoyed it. So those were the two Phlox jigsaw puzzles that they currently have available that I've done, the thousand piece and the 500 piece. But yeah, what do you think about the whole using a cloth bag to, um, contain the jigsaw puzzle pieces. I like that it's reusable, but is it too expensive? Like, is it necessary? I'm not sure. 
And then what if the jigsaw puzzle cut could have been just a little bit more snug instead of having that cloth bag included, for example, put the money into the piece cut of the jigsaw puzzle rather than in the packaging. Just questions that I have, but I do love Flox jigsaw puzzles. I do love the design. I had a lot of fun building this one. So yeah, I'll most likely tape the Flox and the Gallison and put them up on the wall somewhere. I had already been gifted this 3D jigsaw puzzle vase from Pintu as a thank you. And my hubby knew I wanted to do a whole Pintu 3D jigsaw puzzle video. So he got me a 3D jar as well as a 3D clock. Now there's two sizes of jars. This is the larger one. I believe this one is called Dreams Come True, or is it Make a Wish? Well, on the jar, it says Dreams Come True, and then Make a Wish, I believe, on the different sides. But, oh, it's so cute. The official name, I believe, is Dreams Come True. And this one, the clock, I believe is called Manuscript Coffee. I'm so excited to try these out. I think they'll be lots of fun. And I will dedicate one full video to doing 3D pin to jigsaw puzzles. The next jigsaw puzzle is from a new to me brand called Lettuce. Never heard of this brand before. This one's called Park Picnic. First of all, I wish the image on the box was larger. There's a lot of empty real estate there. And well, the name on the t box itself on the front cover is a bit confusing. It does appear on the sides though. And when I do videos for these jigsaw puzzles, I will go into more detail about the packaging and whatnot but it took me way too long to figure out how to open this box because I thought it was maybe a push through, but no, it's one of those that has a magnetic flap and you open it like this. It comes included with a little postcard of the puzzle image and another one that the pieces come in a cloth zippered bag. So I'm very curious to see um, whether or not that's worth it what quality will these jigsaw puzzle pieces be? Um, it's very nice packaging, but is it at the expense of the jigsaw puzzle itself? And also, you know right away I'm gonna say, I wish I had a larger image of the jigsaw puzzle. But yeah, lettuce. Have you heard of that brand? Has anyone done a lettuce jigsaw puzzle? I had to get a 500 piece Robin's Burger jigsaw puzzle. This one will specifically be for speed puzzling practice because already booked my tickets and my trip and my accommodation to go to Spain in 2024. Well, it is 2024. Oh my goodness. I got to get used to that. In September, will you be going to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship in Valladolid? I'll leave a link to their website down below in case you want to check it out. I'm sure there's still tickets available. The more the merrier. Come along. And you know what? Even if you're not a fast speed puzzler, I'm not a fast speed puzzler, but I had so much fun. You'll have a great time. And for some reason I feel, I don't know why I have no inside information. I just feel like this jigsaw puzzle could make an appearance at the competition. And that doesn't make sense because this one's from 2022. It's called Minu's Pond and the artist is you.me.srl. That's what it says. Um, I think typically they use more recent jigsaw puzzles. So in September, they will most likely use a lot of jigsaw puzzles that have been released this year in 2024. But some reason I was like, I should get this jigsaw puzzle to practice speed puzzling on. I also think it's gonna be quite different, difficult because of a lot of similar colors, but I can't wait to try it out. Hopefully I can do it within the 90 minutes. I finally got my hands on a Cobble Hill Rainbow Project Jigsaw Puzzle. This is the red one. The artist is Shelly Davies. On the back, you see the entire collection from pink to purple. So this is not the first one. And what's nice is that if you do have them all and you lay them down next to one another, the image does like overlap and continue from one puzzle to the next. So my question to you is, would you like to just see the red one done on camera? Or would you actually like me to try to get all the colors and do one video with all the rainbow colors included? Now, what's funny is this one is about $30 New Zealand and the pink, red, orange, and yellow are pretty readily available. But for some reason, the green, blue, and purple ones are like $3 more. I have no idea why. And they're not as easy to get your hands on. But I just looked recently and I have found them all available on a certain website. So 
Leave your comments below and let me know, should I just do one video on the red or would you like me to try to get all the rainbow colors and do one large video with all of them included? Look at this beauty. Oh, this was a gift from Paige and Sven. I love it. My first Colin Thompson was the Ludicrous Library at Worlds. That was one of the pair's speedrun jigsaw puzzles. I loved it, loved it. My style of jigsaw puzzle. Well, they gifted me this 5,000 piece Robin's Burger and it's called Bizarre Town from Colin Thompson. It's from 2014 and I absolutely love it. This again is me in a jigsaw puzzle. I, oh, I can't wait to dive in. It's just all in one bag, but it does come with a nice big poster. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful size poster for such a large jigsaw puzzle. I can't wait to dive into this jigsaw puzzle. <coughs> oh, sorry, box fart. And um, what I was thinking, you can do some sorting and I'll probably, you know, go through piece by piece and sort, but I'll probably do a lot of just, just build as I go, really. You know, I, I just love it. There's so much to discover so many crazy things. I can't wait to do it. I'm not sure what I'll talk about during the time lapse, but I'll find something. It might be over maybe two videos, but what's so funny that they bought me this jigsaw puzzle. We just got together last night and that's when we exchanged Christmas presents. So we were a bit late and um, they didn't realize that I had gone shopping during the Boxing Day sales. And during the Boxing Day sales, I thought, I wonder if there's any large jigsaw puzzles that I would like to buy, especially since I took down the two sections of the Educa uh, around the world from the jigsaw puzzle display. I know I have a large area with a lot of tables, three tables and some planks of wood on top that I could display something larger. Well, shopping online late at night. It was like midnight. I know it's terrible. Who does that midnight shopping online and you find a deal and you got to buy it. Next thing you know, you have a crazy like milk juicer. I don't even know if that's a thing, but you know what I mean? So I found this jigsaw puzzle and it was on sale for a price. I, I could not pass it up. And guess what? It's another Colin Thompson. Yes, I went and I got the 18,000 piece. It's called Magical Bookcase. I can't wait to do this. I hope it's called Magical Bookcase. I think that's what it's called, or Magical Bookshelf, one of the two. The box is so heavy, it's sitting over there. So I just have the lid at the moment. I thought it was hilarious that they got me this Colin Thompson. I just bought myself this one. So much fun. I can't wait. So now I have a big question for you all. Should I dive into the 18,000 piece first or the 5,000 piece? Because you know what? That 5,000 piece I know will fit perfectly on my blank wall. So I'm thinking do the 5,000 piece first because I want to get it framed. I think I'll get it professionally framed. We'll see what it looks like and get it up on the wall and get rid of this white wall because let's face it, I don't think my map is ever coming back. And then, and then once that's done, then I can dive into the 18,000 piece. It's in four bags of 4,560 pieces. So it's actually a bit over 18,000 pieces. And I can do a whole series on this. This will probably be at least, at least four videos, one video per bag, if not maybe more. And then I will probably bring it down to the jigsaw puzzle display to lay it all out. Oh, I was so excited when I opened that and I got this. I'm tickled pink. I was so spoiled. I love all these jigsaw puzzles. I know I've asked you tons of questions. Leave your comments below. Um, what were some of my questions? Oh, what are your thoughts about those cloth reusable bags? Are they worth the money? Yes or no? Or do you think they'll come at the expense of the quality of the jigsaw puzzle pieces? If you can find a $10 New Zealand puzzle though, that can include a plastic reusable bag, I think more brands need to consider using plastic reusable bags. Just saying, just saying. Have you done a lettuce brand jigsaw puzzle? New to me, never heard of them. Do you think this Minus Pond will be at Worlds? Probably not, it's probably too old. Would you like to see me get all the Rainbow Project jigsaw puzzles and do the entire collection at once? And then which one should I do first? Should I do the 5,000 piece, get it up on the wall, and then tackle the 18,000 piece? So many questions. Oh, I can't wait to read your comments. 
And which one are you most excited to see me do? There's so many lovely puzzles here and there's still more in my to-do pile to do, but we'll get to them. We'll get to them eventually. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao.